spoken about sudden cardiac death. Can people without previous heart disease also experience sudden cardiac death? And if so, who are most prone? Um, there are two kinds of patients who are vulnerable for, not patients, two kinds of people right. who could suffer from sudden cardiac death. Mm -hmm. Most of them are those who already have had a heart disease. Mm -hmm. But there are many people with heart disease, but they believe that they were apparently all right because they've never tested themselves. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important for people to have a health check at least once after the age of 20. And then every five years, if everything was normal during the first heart, first heart check, but if there was anything abnormal, more frequent, but I think you hit 40 years, every year you need to have to know the vulnerability. There's nothing called, you know, sudden cardiac death happening to a person mm -hmm. who's not had a uh, you know, underlying heart disease, just that we are not detecting them. It's a great loss to this country that these are preventable deaths. Very true. These are easily preventable, but we are not diagnosing in time. When we diagnose, people don't take enough responsibility to own their share of management. Doctors may prescribe, but you need lifestyle monitoring, taking medicine, coming back for checkup is their and their family's responsibility. Mm -hmm. And thirdly, you know, it is going to make the country poorer because these sure. are all very expensive, non-communicable diseases. People are going to pay out of their pockets. Mm -hmm. Preventing them is the cheapest thing. Mm -hmm. And treating a person with an angioplasty or a bypass at the very first time is the cheapest thing than waiting for heart failure to set in when it becomes very unaffordable for most people and we lose lives.